Okay. This is an issue I feel is a very annoying issue with the B string rattling always. Now, some of the you know the steps I've seen to fix it, some of the processes, they don't work. And I've done about most of them. One of them was like release the neck tension. I've done that. I've done that too where it's slightly bowed like it's supposed to be. Even these, because the, it didn't rattle before with the other strings. But these ones are looser, so I had to let the neck tension go a little bit. None of the other strings, they don't rattle at all, any fret. But the B string, from is it from first fret to about 12th fret, it rattles all up here. And you see people saying, like, oh, well, you just, need, you just need to not play as hard. I'm like, half the sound comes from your hand. You can't just not play hard. That's just... One, it'll mess up your technique really bad and you'll develop horrible habits. And the two is just, there has to be some way to do it. There has to be. Some people like rattling. I don't know why you like rattling ever, but some people do. So watch. The way I usually play is I usually play in this area and I play pretty hard. Before, I use like a double ball string system I broke strings a lot like all the time mainly because the whole single ball system is kind of flawed and when you wrap things around it that's makes it really unstable and I did not break I've had the space for geez a year I'm playing the space for a year and the strings that came on it did not break at all so when I got some new strings, I got some roto sound strings, I thought they'd be better. And there's already an issue with them not being long enough. That's a whole separate thing. But putting the G in, it broke right away. And I thought, really? There's no I, I bought I spent thirty something thirty four dollars on a set of strings and they broke right away. So it's just ridiculous. So I had to put the G string from the old one back on, which is why there will be a different a sound difference. It's a tiny little tad bit of a tone difference. So the main issue is rattling. E, A, D, and G don't rattle at all. B string does a little. So watch. I'm going to play hard. I'm going to play basically as hard as I usually do, if not a little bit harder. a little spinning thing on you may have heard that but there was no rattling and there was the original fret hit but no actual rattling now that that's a different thing this this little kind of slapping but kind of like this little fret hit thing you see if you like Giddy Lee he does it a lot he would play it if Giddy Lee were to play that now he'd probably play this And he uses new strings all the time. Now, if I was going to play Rush forever and nothing else, that'd be fine. But I play a lot of metal music that relies on lower tunings and just lower notes in general. So, some people, like the guy in Camelot or System of a Down, they use four string sets, but they just down tune to C or whatever. Which seems kind of annoying and to me, and I don't like playing that way because I don't like thinking, oh, play a C, Solomon, I'm like, uh, add two frets. Okay, no, that's that's weird. Hate transposing. Now there's a Camelot song called My Confession, and I have a video of me playing them. Before there was no issue with it, but now when I play it, you hear rattling all the time. So watch it, watch. I 
annoying. Now, I did one point, I played, I did a fret slap thing. Which is... That's okay, I'm okay with that, but that's the annoying thing. What's up with my video? Yeah, that's basically my issue, and I don't know how to deal with that. I've, on other bases, I've had this issue too. So, moving, adjusting the thing and all that, it's not going to help. And otherwise, up there, it's meh. There is no nut to adjust. It's, it have a zero fret, and it's, the, it's like the most perfect system you can get. So, yeah, I don't know.